When I think about passion in my work life, this is what goes through my head. It is that feeling that pops up when we talk about something we love. It is that feeling that other people get when they listen to us talk about something we love. It is making people want to work with us, letting our clients know that they can trust us it is going the extra mile and sometimes having to do things that we are not comfortable with. It is taking pride in the work we do. That feeling of satisfaction after a job well done. It is about making an effort to understand the people whom we work with. Above all, it is accepting, respecting and appreciating the people we work with. That, to me, is passion. To me, passion is having a great attitude towards work and collaborating with colleagues through any challenges that we face to accomplish a goal, a goal that we share is your age to be the best professionals there is out there. The word actually makes me cringe a little uh, because it's become cliched, but really there's no word that encapsulates pride and motivation in the same way as the word passion. Think about this. If you sleep eight hours a day, you're probably spending 30% or more of your life at work. If you don't find a way to be passionate about what you do, to take pride in what you do, to have motivation in what you do, you're going to be miserable. When asking people what makes them tick, I hear a lot of, I like to solve problems with people, I like to help people. I think, I think that's excellent, but be careful. Don't, don't do your work for praise. Do it for yourself. Don't do it for other people. Find what makes it real for you. So don't work for praise, but always give it where it's due. In terms of the relationships that we have with our clients, emotional maturity means being able to walk a journey with them. So it means showing them that their success is truly our success and it is as important to us as it is to them. It also means being able to share in their hardships in the true spirit of partnership, as opposed to just a contractual agreement. It means that we are the ones that are there when it matters, um, and that we have the great advice and the right expertise that they need to overcome their challenges. Emotional maturity is not only a value which is expressed to our clients, but is also really important for us as an EOH team. It means being honest with ourselves and being honest with each other and it means dealing with conflict in a constructive and healthy way um, within our teams. So you find your pride and you put it into a work and you put a lot of it into a work. Maybe, maybe a bit too much. You've got to be careful. Other people are also invested in their ideas. They also have pride in their work and they're also attached to it. It's not always possible, but find ways to to sit shoulder to shoulder with, with these people. Don't be diametrically opposed to them. Try and, and look at it from their point of view and see where you can help each other out. Look for the best solution between the two of you so that you're greater than the sum of your parts. No good deed ever goes unpunished. You should always have the courage to say no to the client. Remember, a good partnership is about balance. If one side always agrees with the other, you will lose that. So remember to keep the balance between you and your clients. Don't say no. There's always a way to rephrase or find another solution. Have the courage to say, I don't know. No one can ever be expected to know everything. Go away, research, do some R&D, but then come back and then tell the client no. It is a no that has insight and evidence to back it up. Be open-minded. Don't get boxed in with conventional thinking. Sometimes the most innovative and cost-effective solutions can be achieved by challenging the norm. We all love successes, and by all means celebrate them, but embrace your failures. Your failure will open up honest dialogue with your clients. Remember, if you always succeed, you'll never learn. In my opinion, professionalism is the value of the service that is being delivered. And how big that value is, is determined by three things. You have attitude, behavior, as well as your actions. The three characteristics work together to come full circle to build up the value of the service that is being delivered, which is professionalism. You might not agree with me, but I think that moderation and balance are pivotal to professionalism. You need to, to watch yourself to learn who you are, to understand who you are, and watch how you fluctuate between maybe being a bit too relaxed 
and maybe overworking yourself and try, try to find that middle way. When, when you find that middle way, you're more yourself, you're more sincere and people understand and respond to sincerity. Clients get it, teammates get it.